Hey everybody, it's your boy Early White. I'm sitting here playing some Skyrim again. Gonna see what happens this time. Actually, I know what's going to happen. I've gotten to this point where you can uh, resurrect Serana during the Dawn, Car Dawn Guard excuse me, uh, quest. Dawn Car. Now that would be a hell of a name for a car. No, I just gotta push these uh, <clears throat> chalices here. You guys ever have a moment where you're just like looking at something on the floor then you have a, like a game in your head and you're wondering if that's a stain or a leaf I often have that game I'd say nine times out of ten it turns out to be a leaf oh yeah some things I wanted to go over because um, uh, I, I realized after reviewing my footage I was being like real sporadic with the camera angles anyways yeah I just wanted to show off something uh, the bunny once more. There's a front angle. This is a side angle. It's kind of cool. It's holding a bunch of shit. I don't know what its max inventory is. <clears throat> it's a... Uh... Sorry, uh... My throat's a little scratchy today. <clears throat> I think I'm uh, either suffering from allergies or a cold. So I may take some pauses to uh, take a br uh, drink. Is that the right one? Alright. Now I just have to push these things. This is going to be the tell-all as well, if uh, because I downloaded a mod for Serana to uh, make her hot as well. So this will be the uh, tell-all. Okay, here we go. Either it's not going to work or the game's going to crash. Let's see. The fuck are you? I'd say the mod was a success. Yep, she's fucking hot. Varys, who sent you here? <sighs> hmm. Who were you expecting? I get, I always imagine my guy being like a redneck Altmer. I was expecting someone like me, at least. Cause he's awesome, Bill from Shagaville. What do you mean, like you? Can't you tell just from looking at me? A vampire. I'm not gonna speak all the lines. Not fond of vampires, are they? Well, look. Kill me, you've killed one vampire. But if people are after me, there's something bigger going on. I can help you find out what that is. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Well, aren't you an exquisite corpse? <laughs> that I am. So what's a beautiful dead girl like you doing in a crib like this? That's a long story. For you, I'll make the time, I reckon. This isn't really a good time to tell about it. It's a question of trust. I'm a vampire. Do you understand that much? I just need to figure out what's happening. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. So, single vampire? Or is there a special someone packed in a coffin somewhere? That's the first thing you ask me? If I'm a single woman? No, not really. Oh, I get it. Figures I'd be woken by someone who fancies a little vampire girl from time to time. So I'm guessing you want to just use me, then. 
No, actually, my first question for her would be, why are your giant man hands going through the cuffs of your dress? That's kind of weird. That eh, may be a little bit of a glitch, but well. You use such an ugly word. If you say so. Growing up the way I did, you get used to it. So you've been used a lot, have you? Maybe. Wait. There's something strange about you. It's your... Blood. It smells just like flowers. Clean. I can feel some kind of power from it. <laughs> you can tell with this mod that they just, like, cut dialogue that either she says later... Or, or all around from Serana, or I, I noticed that they, so this game has like 20 or 30 voice actors, so uh, you hear a lot of repeating roles, uh, voices for roles, and, you know, yeah, it's I can see how they were able to basically cut all this dialogue together to make it sound, but it has that weird robotic, like, pause kind of to it. I... Something about you makes me so thirsty. That's not your concern. You and I are having trust issues, remember? I'll figure out what you are. Oh, she said that rather smoothly. Damn it, I was hoping she would talk back like that. And how do you intend to do that? I've read stories. What was it? Something to do with dragons, I think. So you're beautiful, well-read, and nosy, and got a pretty mouth. It's just... It's starting to get to me. I'm feeling hungry. Would you... You know. Oh shit, she wants to bite me. Look. I'm a vampire. I feed on blood. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I... I see. Well then, help me get back to my family's home, and I'll do the rest. Okay, so basically this is like turning her return home quest into a quid pro quo where she wants my blood, thinks it smells like clean flowers, and uh, I guess I'm wanting to get sucked off, I don't know. So if a blood and safe passage home in exchange for your affections on arrival. Yes. It's all very businesslike. Good. I don't know how he, she plans on minding your fangs when. Wow. By the blood of my ancestors. Was it good for you, sugar? Incredible. Ah, uh, the dragon blood. Yes, I am Targaryen. You have the blood of a god. <sighs> it's so good. Thank you. Your guess is as good as mine. This, yes, it is. And it's mine. It's complicated. I can't really talk about it. It's a good question. Hard to say. I I feel like it was a long time. Well... Who is Skyrim's High King? Since I'm on the side of the Imperials. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? I used to always go with the Stormcloaks, but... Since I did this uh, alternate life, live another life, where I started off as just like a miner who owned property in Whiterun, I have no qualm with the Imperials. The whole reason I had a qualm with them was because in the beginning opening scene in the regular game, they almost chop your head off, obviously, so I figured, you know, my character wouldn't really be too thrilled about being on their side. But since that's not the case, I joined them this time. Empire? What empire? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? It must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. 
It's on an island near Solitude. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around. Let's just say that my mother and father... Don't worry. All right, I'm just getting through this dialogue because I, I think I have to get through it if she wants Let's to follow to me home. or she'll just I'll keep getting back into the uh, coffin. And that looks like companion stuff. All right. Oh, yeah, being in third person reminds me that I want to show off. I got the Witcher Wild Hunt. This kind of shows off my character better. I went with uh, if an Altmer was a giant redneck like Macho Man, Randy Savage. Maybe if I cast Candlelight. Yeah. Got like the mutton chops and the circlet, but that's like for the most part the waist down is fucking the wild hunt light armor from Witcher mod from The Witcher Three. All right, come on, hot Serana, let's go, dove a bit. Maybe you can get a better look of him. Yep. Looks like the white bunny from Monty Python. It'd be awesome if he could actually attack, but he usually just stands there and takes all the damage. I've seen that, like, dragon take, like, 20 expert level, uh, fire spells straight to the dome. Yeah, you get him, girl. You get him, girl. I'm gonna have to craft her some awesome armor. Get him. Oh, fuck. They're really not doing too much damage to me. Do I have to summon Satan? Is that what's, what this is going to come down to? Go after her for a change. Use us for crafting. Or I should say, uh, enchanting. Glass Sword of Lightning, huh? I may or may not have that enchantment already, but I'll take it. I really don't need it for the money, as you can see. I have uh, nearly two uh, million gold there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me just go over this one a bit better, because I was just, like, flipping through it. As you can see, this is how I've leveled up my Conjuration. I could do Ren from the World. Bound weapons, banish Conjured Daedra, turn reanimated undead, and deal 100 extra damage to non-Conjured Daedra. And then Void Burn is even better. Bound weapons brand victims with unholy energy for 5 seconds, halting magic and stamina regeneration while draining 15 points per second. When both are depleted, the energy starts devouring their flesh, dealing 15 points of magic damage per second. And hollow binding, cut through flesh and spirit, reducing uh, magic ex uh, resistance by uh, 30% for 5 seconds. And, uh, yeah. There's just so much, like, more. Oh, there's one over on Conjuration that I'm gonna have to get again, eventually. It's, uh... <laughs> Here. It's if 
fucking great though, the name of it, I believe. Maybe it was over on Enchantment. Yeah, it may have been Enchantment. Damn it, let me go back. The fuck are you, Enchantment? That's it. You shall not pass! Simultaneously, with a one second, using an enchanted staff in your left hand and striking with an enchanted weapon in your right hand releases a flash of light that staggers enemies and deals massive damage based on your enchanting skill level. If I was someone to play with a weapon and a fucking staff, I wonder if that works with bound. I don't think so, maybe not, because that's not enchanted, but still. There's a mod that lets you uh, convert your unused uh, dragon souls to perks. I'll probably get that because that seems about one of the few ways, in my opinion. Like, I mean, because eventually you level up and get 99, but then there'd be way more perks that you still wouldn't have. All right, so the fuck was that? Oh yeah, go towards the arrow, dumbass. Fuck is there a leading me? Did, uh... So this is why I need candlelight. Can't see shit. Did, uh... Well, that seems to be like a dead end. I have to go back up, I guess. This way. I guess where the fuck. Okay. Well, first off, you can just get your merry ass back into the coffin. I don't care how hot you are. Don't be looking to me. way out, but not, there's gonna have to be a switch or something that I'm gonna have to hit. I'm just gonna check. You know, one time I went lo looking for a uh, switch for like 30 minutes, and then I came back to the door, and it was right next to the door, and I was like, what the fuck? Why didn't I see that the first time? I guess I'm just stupid. Let's go looking for a switch. Oh, there we are. Oh shit, we got a demon lord guy. Or a Draugr death lord or something. fuck around with. Oh, come to me, Satan! Get him! Somebody hit me? Oh, yeah. 
Get him. Yeah, where the fuck are my dudes? Is there a word of power around? Uh. Yep. I hardly ever use the words of power. Oh, there you are. See where she lives. All the way the fuck over there. No, I would rather ride up there. With my fucking trusty steed. I do like I so I can show him off again. In case if I didn't do a good enough job. Now where is uh Bunny Imperial Officer? He's got the Imperial helmet. We'll need to watch our steps inside. You need to not tell me what to do. Alright. I should come up with a name for this. Well, he provides me transportation and he is a piece of shit. A Miata? No, no, no. I don't want to be known. I'll think of something. Ford? Uh, no, that's... I'll think of something for the name of the bunny. I'll name him after something. I guess I could always just be like really hyperball about it. I'm trying to think of the name of that, uh, the fuck was that truck called on, on The Simpsons. That's something if anybody actually watches these videos, if you know what the name of that, you know what I'm talking about. There was a, there was a thing where they were making fun of the Ford commercials on The Simpsons and and it was like, or it was either Ford or Chevy, and they had the big ass truck, and I think it was like Hank Williams Jr. like sang some kind of song to it. It was kind of catchy. Damn it, that's like one of those things. That's probably like impossible to look up on YouTube. Like there are some things that I've just tried. I couldn't really know how to describe it too well. know how to describe something too well and then tried looking it up on YouTube and just just couldn't figure it out you know that's gonna drive me insane all day oh, might as well oh shit it's a hopping walrus Sick one right in your bum. That one's dead, 
and how's about I give you one to smoke one right between Main Street. Right down Main Street in the butthole. And he said, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a perfect, <laughs> perfect rectal. I think I just need a tusk if I want to make a trophy out of one. Oh, shit. I'll have to drop that. <laughs> Canyon Arrow. That was the fucking truck's name. I'm trying to think now. Yes, that Canyon Narrow. Canyon Narrow. That was how what they called it on the Simpsons. I knew that would come. Oh shit! There's two of them. I do that sometimes if I mistake. Da, 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 where's the dismiss? There we go. Canyon Narrow. Oh shit! I needed one of them. I guess. Something, something. It'll all come back to me. Cause that's like one of those distinct things that I remember being from The Simpsons. But I mean, they had a lot of distinct things, actually. I mean, being on the air for so long. Canyon Arrow. Yeah, that's how it went. Canyon Arrow. Something da, down Canyon Arrow. Canyon Arrow. Canyon Arrow. He's an elf stomping. Work fucking hopping machine, Canyon Arrow. Oh, that's like how that fucking song went. Damn it! At least I know the name of it. I'll, I'm gonna YouTube it later. Canyon Arrow. Yeah, fuck it. Ears real slick and hair fur real soft. Runs across the water like Jesus Christ, Canyon Arrow. <laughs> Canyon Arrow. Yeah, look at that. Glitch as shit. Jesus, Bunny. Sorry, Serana. You're just going to have to slim it. Canyon Arrow only fits one. Smells like a cage and seats only one. Max is out of 25. When he runs, Canyon Arrow, Canyon Arrow. All right, I'm not gonna sing that the whole time. But that's. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I found out the name of that truck. That just made my day. What you cocksuckers aren't gonna come to life? He got up there, I have no idea. Come on, Serana. Make your merry ass up here. I'm sure that guy's not gonna trigger until you step up. Okay, so before we go in, I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Thanks for shouting it across this bridge! Alright. <laughs> they look creepy when they have frost on their face. I might have to Wait. turn that off. 
Come on then. I guess I shouldn't come out uh, in there. <laughs> Weapons drawn. Wonder if I could just smoke them all right now. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my elder scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, uh, if Don't only look at me. the traitor mother were here, I would let her watch this reunion. Or putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Well, thank you, Lord Harkin. What is your name? <laughs> I love this when they make me say my name. I'm Awesome Bill from Shagavale. Who are you? I am Harkin. It's a shorter title. What we are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble. I'm gonna pass on this. You will never I'm already a werewolf. Again. Yes, I can smell it on you. The power of my blood will purge that filth and to make you whole again. I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! He's gonna look retarded. This is why I'm not a vampire. You look like an orc eye with wings. Make your choice. Stay a werewolf. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I vanish. I'm already leaving. If I wasn't going to become a wolf-vampire hybrid, then I said no. Where the fuck do I need to go here? Oh, all the way back over here. Well, let's just take a moment because I'm going to end this real quick to look at my house.
There's uh Lydia, my house Carl. If you need anything, you have but to ask. For some reason, whenever I like dismiss her back to the house, um she takes off all that dragon armor I gave her. I don't know why. I guess she's just stupid. She just prefers her shitty old armor. I don't know. I'm gonna have to craft something for Serana, though. But yeah, here's my house. Let me use candlelight. I just find cool looking weapons and that's what I was wearing before. That's the Witcher uh, heavy set armor. Get out of the way. That's that uh, arbor I said looks really cool. It's got runes on it. Do let me know if I can be of service. I will. Just shut up. Huh? Just shut up. That's how you can be of service. I am your sword and your shield. Hedge knight. Imperial heroic set. Make use of my body for your pleasure. Oh <laughs> uh, no. I think that's just the uh, regular heavy dragon bone armor. A paladin set. Basically leads into a great hall and alchemy or uh, enchanting. Uh, let's go down to the basement. You have a trophy room. I'm devoted to you, my fan. I know you are. set up up here. That's that glacial armor. That one from Morrowind. Thought that looked pretty cool. Alright, well I think that's going to do it for now. Um, probably reaching around that 20 to 40 minute time period. So I'll uh, upload another episode as soon as possible.